I read all these. Lisa's here. Hi. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this. It's gonna be really messy, so don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're here with Lisa. She arrived. Hi. She's gonna give us the uh, historical tour of Rome, so maybe mm -hmm. we'll actually give you some some information. Uh, but we noticed in our journey to the Trevi Fountain that we were gonna be nearby the um, this place in the Jewish ghetto, Bocciona or something. We stumbled upon it the other day. I'll rewind and show us tasting it with Jeffrey and Ludo. But it's these delicious like ricotta mm. cakes. Do you like it? Yeah. Also, uh, Yom Kippur begins this evening, so it feels like. You know, this is just as good as, as fasting and going to services, I guess. I did my part. They're wishing everybody a Yom Dove in there, so. <laughs> Mom, I'm Jewish. Do you like a haze? This is the oldest bank that currently exists in the world. I think it might be from the 1300s, maybe even before. SPQR, that's Senatus Populus K Romana, the Senate and people of Rome. And all public works in Rome have that inscription way back from when the Senate was founded in like, oh, I don't know, BC something. I'll add it. These are the founders of Rome, Romulus and Remus, and they were floated down a river because they were born to a Vestal Virgin, and Vestal Virgins are not supposed to have children. The key word being virgin. Oh, babies, not virgins. Uh, anyway, so they were floated down the river to Rome and on the Tiber, which is the river that goes through Rome, and the she-wolf adopted them and fed them, and then they founded Rome. Sad fact, Romulus ended up killing Remus, and he built a wall, and he Remus jumped over and Romulus got pissed because he thought it was like really annoying and he said anyone who jumps over these walls I shall kill and Romans really take that to heart. And the only interesting thing that I have to add is that Roma is uh, one of Rome's two soccer clubs, uh, the other being Lazio uh, and I'm off to go and see them tomorrow night which I can't wait. First half update, uh, it's just gone 1-1, one, Roma one. just scored, CSKA went in front early on. Uh, what do you think so far, you guys? It's coming up to the final whistle, uh, final score, it looks like it's going to be 5-1. It's gonna been a great game, saw lots of goals, saw our boy Tammy Abraham from uh, England, he scored a goal late on here. Uh, Guys, what do you think? What are your final thoughts? Uh, it's pretty much what I expected. Um, I didn't say 5-1 because I want to be respectful to the other team, but I saw it coming. Travi Fountain, Tre Via, where three streets came together. but like I don't know what it is. So this time last year, good friends, the Ramirez's, uh, Julian and Maddie were due to come to Rome for their honeymoon. Um, and then because of COVID that got canceled. So luckily uh, they postponed the trip and came now. And uh, whilst we were here, so we've been able to uh, catch up with them for dinner. Here they are. Ciao. <laughs> this is awkward. Sorry. Lisa's still here too. I'm not crying. My head. It's raining on your head? Where are we? Where are we? I can't. Where? I can't. 
Ice cream! Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> what time is it? You are in yeah, line? Like, yes. Yeah. Are you getting me chewing in this? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't filmed in a little while. Um, I think we left off and Lisa had only provided us about three facts. So, the name of the game today is that we are going on a walking tour. And we hope to have more information about this beautiful city for you soon. about the armadillo? No, Steph didn't tell me about the armadillo. <laughs> so apparently Bernini wanted to do like the four continents that they knew of at the time and he only heard about this animal, he'd never seen a photo. So they said a really hard shell, like armor, and a really long pointed nose and that's what he came up with. That's it looks like a... Um, an eagle ninja turtle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good shout. So it's a new day. Uh, and we are in the north of Rome at the Maxi Museum, which is 21st century art in a building designed by Zaha Hadid. It was pretty cool. A lot of the galleries were closed. Um, but we wrapped up the walking tour yesterday and it was really cool. So we thought we would share with you some, a few things we learned. Did you know Rome floods for, used to flood for three months out of the year, every year? And then uh, the king finally built an embankment so it doesn't flood every year again anymore. So the entire historical section of Rome is a UNESCO protected site, which means that even if you want to change like a window pane, uh, you're not allowed to. So our guide said people actually don't love owning property within the city walls. They'd rather be a little bit outside of it so they have somewhat more ownership. So we saw We've seen lots of gates around the fountains and we learned yesterday on the tour that this is because when there's football matches, it's to keep people out of the fountains like me, drinking my beers, getting rowdy. So we also learned that the Pantheon, Pantheon is for many uh, gods, like are all the gods, Pantheon, um, and Hadrian's temple, which we saw as well, was only for the priests, whereas Pantheon, because it was for everybody, everyone could come in, like even lowly, no good people like me. Uh, we learned that Piazza Navona, Hayes' favorite piazza that we've been in a whole bunch, uh, was actually a Greek word for competitions and they used to have chariot races, uh, which is why it's kind of shaped long and rectangular, which is a little bit different to some of the other piazzas we've been seeing. <laughs> So we just came with Lisa to Testaccio Market. Um, we had some sandwiches at Morty A. Vi. I don't think I took a video. And then we came to the playground to let Hayes have a run around and this was the highlight. Oh, good job! So good! Di Bacala trying uh, a famous fried cod uh, pre-dinner. Hayes has a brand new coloring book and we haven't filmed in a while but we're still gonna tell you some things that we learned on that walking tour. Are you able to get it in the book? Can you get it in the book? So we visited this beautiful arcade but it was completely empty and we learned that a northerner came and built it, I think a king, um, and he wanted to show how modern Italy was so he built this beautiful indoor shopping arcade which was 
the vogue thing to do at the time. But it's empty because Romans hate being indoors because it's beautiful outside and they prefer to be outside like we are right now. And so the beautiful arcade just sits empty. Terrible pity. Dude, I said three days. It's not terrible. So another cool thing that I learned on our tour was that Rome, Romans refer to their city as built like lasagna because excavation was really hard so they would just build on top and so when they do excavations there's like many different layers going back in time and that also explains why when you go to the Pantheon you're downward sloping even though the Pantheon was built on a hill back in the day they built up the city so much now the pantheon's like way down here and rooms up here so you have to go down into it and we also noticed that at hadrian's temple where there's a whole gap and you can see that the roman streets were like 10 15 feet below where they are today Sunday morning. It is the first day since three days after we got here where we don't have a visitor. We've absolutely loved having visitors for the record, um, but we're exhausted. Uh, and so we are walking to the Children's Museum to finally take a to the Children's Museum. And it is the day of the Rome Marathon. I haven't been recording a lot, so don't know how hodgepodge this video is, but yeah. It's just us for a couple of days, then we head off to Palermo, and then our time in Rome is soon coming to an end. So it's uh, September 19th and we've been here since September 1st and uh, we've had so many guests in town uh, but finally we're able to do something now for Hayes specifically uh, so we've come to this uh, children's museum here in Rome uh, and we're excited to go and check it out. on the Children's Museum is that not that great. Not that great. We are lucky to have the Creative Discovery Museum in Chattanooga which is quite dated but now I really appreciate it because it was way better than this place and Chattanooga is a lot smaller than Rome. So the good thing is uh, the kids don't care and they had a big water exhibit not dissimilar to the Creative Discovery Museum but not as good in the middle um, and that is about all that Hayes wanted to play with. He also, they had a train going around the perimeter that you could drive um, so it was you know alternating between train train and bubbles bubbles. I think he had a good time. He had a great time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>